Welcome, archaeology lovers, to exciting archaeology news. Today, we embark on a captivating journey into the past with 11 most important archaeological discoveries of 2023. Get ready to delve into the fascinating world of ancient mysteries and revelations that have left archaeologists and historians scratching their heads. These discoveries, ranging from enigmatic objects uncovered in ancient tombs to mysterious structures hidden beneath the earth, challenge the boundaries of our understanding of history, technology, and human civilization. Just like in our previous explorations, we're about to unravel stories that will leave you in awe and spark your curiosity about the incredible tapestry of our past. So, grab a seat and let's dive into the first part of this remarkable series, where we uncover the most extraordinary archaeological finds of the year. But before we embark on this adventure, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to our channel, Exciting Archaeology News, and let's uncover the mysteries of the past together. Let's start our fascinating 2023 discoveries with the Lost Palace of Kings in Girsu, Iraq. Dr. Sebastian Ray, leading a joint effort by British and Iraqi archaeologists, uncovered a 4,500-year-old palace, a gem from the ancient Sumerian city. Girsu, a cornerstone of the earliest known civilization in Mesopotamia, witnessed the birth of writing, the establishment of the first cities, and the formulation of codes of law. Dr. Ray's discovery, part of the Girsu project initiated in 2015 and funded by the British Museum and the Getty Museum, adds a significant chapter to our understanding of this ancient civilization. More than just a palace, the excavation unveiled over 200 cuneiform tablets containing administrative records of the city, providing a unique snapshot of daily life in ancient Girsu. Noteworthy is the identification of the main temple dedicated to Ningirsu, shedding light on the religious practices of the Sumerians. As artifacts from this discovery find their place in museums, including the Iraq Museum in Baghdad, the significance of Girsu as one of the most important heritage sites gains recognition. Let's delve into the serious business of the remarkable discovery of Sahura's Pyramid by an Egyptian-German mission led by Dr. Mohammed Ismail Khalid from the University of Würzburg. This discovery revolves around previously undocumented storage rooms within Sahura's Pyramid, offering a fresh perspective on the architectural intricacies of this ancient structure. Sahura, the second king of the 5th dynasty, 2400 BC, holds historical significance as the inaugural occupant of Abusir. The team's meticulous efforts involved cleaning interior rooms, stabilizing the pyramid, and preventing further deterioration. During the restoration, the team unearthed the antechamber's original dimensions and floor plan, previously obscured by time-induced decay. Notably, traces of a passage, initially noted by British Egyptologist John Perring in 1936, were rediscovered. The recent exploration confirmed this passage, which is suspected to lead to storage rooms, revealing eight storerooms. This groundbreaking discovery and restoration effort marks a significant milestone in understanding the historical significance of the Sahura Pyramid. Beyond uncovering hidden storage rooms, the project challenges existing paradigms in pyramid development, offering new insights into ancient architectural practices. Big news from Giuliano in Campania near Naples. They've unearthed a jaw-dropping chamber tomb that's been sitting pretty for about 2,000 years. This wasn't random. It popped up during a routine archaeological survey tied to a water supply system upgrade. An unexpected history bonus. Now, picture this. A tomb entrance sealed with a hefty tough slab, giving off serious mystery vibes. But here's where it gets excellent. Step inside, and you're greeted by frescoes painted yesterday. A showstopper among the art is a vibrant portrayal of Cerberus, the three-headed dog from Greek mythology. So naturally, they're calling this gem the Tomb of Cerberus. Cerberus was the Hades bouncer for those not up to speed on ancient canine bouncers, ensuring departed souls stayed put. The fresco captures the climax of Heracles' greatest hits, the moment he wrestled Cerberus into submission during his twelve labors. Epic, right? The University of Leicester archaeologists unearthed more than just your usual run-of-the-mill artifacts. They stumbled upon a place that's been rocking the religious scene for a whopping 1,800 years. Picture this, a Roman cellar that's not your average wine stash. It's got the base of an altar stone, sparking all kinds of theories about secret shrines and cult hangouts. But that's not all. 
They hit the jackpot with over 1,100 burials from the 11th to the mid-19th century, turning the site into a historical burial bonanza. And wait for it? They time-traveled further back to the Anglo-Saxon period, unearthing a potential building and the first Anglo-Saxon coin found in Leicester in nearly two decades. As the excavation delved more profoundly, they stumbled upon a semi-subterranean structure from a Roman-themed episode of Cribs. Painted stone walls, a concrete floor, it's like they found the VIP room of ancient Leicester. They're turning this spot into a heritage and learning space, and these finds are like the icing on the historical cake. In the hidden corners of northern China, a breathtaking discovery has emerged. A brick tomb believed to be over 800 years old. Unearthed by workers renovating stormwater drains, this ancient resting place nestled near the village of Dongfenshan in Yuanqiu County opens a window to the past. Dating back to A.D. 1190 to 1196, during the rule of the Jurchen Jin State, the tomb houses the remains of three individuals, two adults aged 50 to 60 and a child aged 6 to 8. This intriguing find includes an ornately adorned inner chamber beneath an octagonal spire made of stepped bricks. The walls, crafted to mimic carved wood, showcase lions, sea anemones, flowers, and figures considered guardian spirits. The tomb's unique features, such as a ceremonial gatehouse and intricate decorations, align with others from the same era in the region. The pottery land coupon discovered within firmly establishes its construction timeline. While the Jurchen Jin State, a multi-ethnic empire primarily ruled by the Jurchen people, encompassed Han Chinese and Jurchen subjects, this tomb's location suggests a distinctly Chinese style. In a groundbreaking discovery at Gobleki Tepe in Turkey, archaeologists have unearthed a life-size statue of a wild boar dating back 11,000 years. Gobleki Tepe, renowned for its Neolithic, megalithic architecture, revealed this astonishing find in the D structure during recent excavations. Gobleki Tepe, sitting atop a limestone mountain ridge in the San Lurfa province, is a site of immense archaeological significance, featuring monumental T-shaped pillars and round oval buildings. The life-sized wild boar statue was discovered on a bench with symbolic decorations, including an H-shaped symbol, a crescent, two snakes, and three human faces or masks. Crafted from limestone, the statue is a remarkable testament to the artistic prowess of ancient hunter-gatherer communities and showcases vibrant pigments on its surface, red, white, and black. This discovery marks a historic moment, as it is the first known painted statue from the Neolithic period. There's been a jaw-dropping discovery in Saqqara, Egypt. Archaeologists unearthing an underground tomb complex and four incredible chapels. But here's the kicker. It belonged to Panacy, the big shot in charge of the Temple of Amun during Ramses II's time, around 1250 BC. Picture this. Panacy's pad is a rectangle about 13.4 by 8.2 meters. It's got everything. A fancy gate entrance, an inner courtyard with stone columns, and even underground chambers for some ancient-style chilling. The upper part is all mud brick and is like a canvas, showing off Panacy and his wife, Baya, some priests, and folks with offerings. It's like their version of an ancient instapost. The archaeologists found four smaller chapels in the neighborhood east of the tomb. One belonged to Yuyu, a big-shot gold foil maker of the Pharaoh treasury. His chapel, about the size of your room, is decked out with mind-blowing wall art. Think of it as Yuyu's ancient mural gallery showing his burial parade and even his mummy getting a second lease on life. This finding is like hitting the jackpot in an ancient archaeological slot machine. Egypt keeps dropping these knowledge bombs, and we can't get enough. In a significant archaeological find near Stonehenge in Salisbury, England, archaeologists discovered a Bronze Age cemetery with over 200 burial mounds or barrows. These barrows, constructed between 2400 and 1500 BCE, reveal a burial ground that has endured centuries. Despite the proximity to Stonehenge, the two sites appear unrelated. Excavations reveal ten intact burials and three cremation burials, indicating prolonged site usage by various groups across different eras. Some barrows exhibited reshaping over time, with one showing an oval shape from the Neolithic period. Beneath it, a mass grave held both adult and child remains. 
Additional intriguing discoveries include red deer antlers, potentially used for tools and rituals, and a child buried with a unique handled food vessel from northern England, suggesting ancient long-distance connections. The site also presented evidence of an Iron Age cultivation area and traces from the early medieval period, including a sunken building and artifacts. This find expands our understanding of the region's rich historical tapestry. Salamis, located 15 miles west of Athens, continues to yield archaeological wonders from its submerged past. Off the coast of the Greek island of Salamis, underwater archaeologists unearth the remains of a substantial seven-room building dating back to the 4th to 5th centuries BC. Measuring approximately 20 feet in width and 105 feet in length, the structure indicates a stoa, an elongated building lined with pillars often linked to other rooms. The discovery, announced by the Greece Ministry of Culture, unveiled a treasure trove of ancient Greek artifacts within the building. Among the findings were Athenian pottery, various vases, ceramics, clay objects, marble fragments, and 22 bronze coins. Two notable 4th century BC artifacts stood out, an inscribed column fragment adorned with fragmentary verses and a stone slab fragment featuring a giant hand, likely part of an enormous relief sculpture. Archaeologists emphasize the significance of this discovery in unraveling the ancient city's residential organization, providing valuable insights into its historical context. Israeli researchers near the Dead Sea have uncovered four remarkably well-preserved Roman swords dating back 1900 years. Discovered inside a cave overlooking the Dead Sea, three swords measuring 60 to 65 centimeters were still enclosed in their wooden scabbards. Photographers documenting an inscription found the swords in a nearly inaccessible crevice. Archaeologists believe that Judean rebels seized the weapons from the Roman army and concealed them in the cave. The arid desert conditions around the Dead Sea have acted as a unique time capsule, preserving artifacts like scrolls, coins from the Jewish revolt, leather sandals, and now swords, sharp as if hidden recently. This discovery offers a glimpse into a specific moment in time, shedding light on the Roman Empire's broader narrative. The cave on a cliffside above the Dead Sea has proven to be a valuable repository of ancient relics. In the heart of Abydos, beneath the sands of time, the tomb of the legendary Egyptian queen Meritneith has unveiled a secret that echoes across 5,000 years, an ancient wine cellar frozen in time. Archaeologists, enchanted by the pristine condition of the discovery, have unearthed hundreds of sealed wine jars, each whispering tales of forgotten flavors and ceremonial libations. Beyond the allure of aged spirits, inscriptions on the tomb's walls paint a portrait of Merit Neith as a woman of extraordinary influence, possibly even the first female pharaoh of ancient Egypt. But the tale doesn't end there. In the shadowy recesses of the tomb, the remains of 41 servants and courtiers raise questions about ancient burial practices, debunking age-old assumptions of ritual human sacrifice. The excavation is a journey into the mysteries of an era. As the team unearths each artifact, the queen's life, her wine-laden rituals, and the secrets of her timeless legacy come ever more into focus. The excavation of this vast complex promises not just historical revelations, but an unraveling of Merit Neath's captivating story, echoing through millennia. If you found these archaeological discoveries as fascinating as we did, don't forget to show your support. Give us a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, and ring the notification bell so you won't miss out when we release more important archaeological discoveries of 2023. We want to hear your thoughts, so drop a comment below on which discovery intrigued you the most or any theories you might have. Share this video with fellow history buffs, friends, and family who share a passion for unraveling the mysteries of our past. Together, we can make history come alive. Until next time, thank you for being part of the exciting archaeology news community.